So I've had this level for about a year. Um, I found it in the trash and uh, had it sitting outside for some reason for a year in all the elements. So that's why it looks this way. I found two of these um, and I always wanted to make it into a guitar. So I'm finally doing that now. Where, where the tuners go, this I'm just drilling all the way through and I'm doing this in a similar style as you would see on a classical guitar. And I will also have grooves in the same way for the strings to come down. And here I'm just scuffing it up a little bit and adding some linseed oil just to preserve it. This is a base bridge that a friend gave me and I'll be cutting in half later off camera. These tuners are left over from a banjo build project, um, so they're not as large as a bass tuner, but they seem to be working for this little project. Um, and I'll put a picture up of what project they were left over from. I had ordered a set of tuners for this, but I only needed the side tuner on the neck, so the rest were left over. This is just a half inch bolt that I found in the garbage. Um, I use that a lot on these kind of builds. And the strings are left over from a base that I bought on Facebook Marketplace for $20. And I cut that in half and made it into a double neck along with another cheap guitar. And I'll put a picture up of that in a minute. So I got this for $20, but it was missing a string and it wasn't working so I cut it in half and then I um, put it, bought new strings for it and put it together as a double neck with a, another $15 guitar. So this is just a cheap Strat copy pickup that I took out of a uh, parts guitar that I probably you know bought cheap and just used for parts. Um, and I, for now I'm just using zip ties to hold these in place. So this little V body was something I also bought for parts and I almost threw the body away because I thought it was worthless. Um, I used the neck for this hubcap build and then um, I almost threw it away but then I realized it would probably be pretty cool to house the wiring for this build. I'm going to use the um, original jack that came with this little kind of toy guitar. Um, so I'm just right now I'm just plugging it in, plugging it in, make sure everything works before I screw the body to the um, to the level. And it'll be a little staticky at first because I don't have the ground hooked up yet. This was a little battery operated guitar. I think the brand was Burswood. Um, so I had a speaker in it and, um, that's why I almost threw the body away. I did throw the speaker away. Um, but I was thought, you know, what am I going to use this for? But it kind of worked out perfectly for this. And you'll see in a little bit that I covered the flames, even though the flames are kind of cool. Um, I covered them up, uh, because I, what I did was I used something that was like flannel. Um, so I, I thought it kind of went with this building tool theme. Here I'm using my uh, $10 Walmart soldering iron. Um, 
and I'm just going straight to the jack. And most the reason why I'm doing that mostly is because to uh, so I can conserve my parts. I like to save the uh, you know a lot of my parts for more serious builds. So I found this golf bag in the trash the same day that I was putting together the uh, V body. So I thought it would go perfectly for this project. Um, kind of reminds me of the shirts my dad used to wear or like somebody that would be on this old house like Norm Abram. Um, although it was from a golf bag it just looks like that kind of flannel. The material is, um, I'm not sure what it is, it's, it's kind of like flannel but not really. But anyway, I just scuffed up the body, and I'm just using Mod Podge um, that I also bought at Walmart. This is the glossy stuff, um, and it seems to be pretty tough. And here I'm just screwing the body on uh, so that I'll be able to remove it to work on the wiring if I have to. So this guitar does have strap buttons, so you could play it standing up, but um, it's hard enough for me to play sitting down, so first I'm going to learn how to do that, and then um, I'll be able to stand up and play it better. So anyway, thanks for watching, and um, this is really a build that was fun, and just about anyone can do it with very little tools. So thanks again for watching.